Well, everyone, the Apple Watch SE 3 has officially came out. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how to exactly use this particular Apple Watch. Now, this is a beautiful watch. There's a lot of stuff to go and use and learn within this particular watch. So by the end of this video, you will be an expert of the SE 3. Now, starting off with the exterior, you will have your display. It's either come, going to come in the smaller size or the bigger size. It's going to be just dependent on you and which size you actually bought. On the front, it's a touch screen. It's a really good type of display. It's going to get fairly bright for your you know, liking. So you can customize a lot of that in the settings. On the left side, you'll have a little bit of a speaker grill situation going on here. So you can actually play music and stuff from these speakers, which is really nice. On the top and bottom, you just have these bands that you can kind of interchange. On the right side, you will have these particular buttons. So you will have this you know, digital crown, which clicks in. It also moves around like this, so you can move it up and down. You'll have a little bit of a microphone right there, as well as this side button. This side button allows you to kind of get more access into your watch. You can also turn on or turn off your watch if it's you know, powered off by this button. On the back side, you're going to have these little uh, indicators right here. When you use your heart rate notifications and stuff like that, this is the sensor that it uses. You might see some green lights come up from the back. That basically means you have your heart rate sensor on. This is also where you charge up your watch. So if you ever want to charge up your watch, you can grab that Apple Watch charger that comes in the box. You can toss that in right here and that will allow you to go ahead and basically charge up your watch that way. So that's another really, really cool thing you can kind of do there and to just charge up your watch by just plugging it in. Now you'll also get these little buttons right here too. And you might be wondering, well, what do these buttons do? These buttons actually allow you to change your bands and interchange your bands back and forth. So let's say you don't want to use this band anymore, you want to use a different band. What you can do is you can actually go through and click into this button right here, kind of click it down with your fingernail, and you can slide these bands off just like so. So it can be a little bit of a process, but you basically click into this button down here and slide this band off. Same thing with the top one, you can take it off. And then if you want to go and put in the new band, you just slide this band in. So there's a little like indicator slider thing right here. You just slide this band in just like this, and then it'll click into place. You'll hear a little click. You can kind of move it around, and that's pretty much all you're going to have to do there. So that is a little bit of a rundown on the exterior. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I've already set up my watch with my iPhone. If you haven't done that yet, I have a video on the second channel, which is the first link down in the description, which will walk you through the setup process entirely. So you can watch that video and you can come back to this once you've actually set up your watch. Once you set it up, this is your watch. Now there's a couple ways to turn the display on. You can either look at your watch like this and it will turn on, or you can tap onto the display to turn it on, or you can click on one of the side buttons to do it too. So there's a lot of different ways to turn on your watch. You know, sometimes you look at it and it doesn't turn on. You can tap on it or you can click one of the side buttons and it will turn on your watch as well. This is your watch face. So every time you turn on your watch, you will always come into the watch face that you have. This is completely customizable. You can make it look like almost like whatever you want it to look like. And I have a lot of videos on how to do that. And also I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. So if you want to check the time or modules or anything like that, this is where you can go to. Now, if you swipe down from the top, so let's say you turn on your watch. If you swipe down from the top, just like so, you will get into your notification drawer. This is very similar like on iPhones. And in fact, any you know, most notifications you get on your iPhone will be showcased in this page. So you can see all sorts of different notifications and stuff that you have inside of your watch. So you can go through, customize it again, whichever way you want to. And that's another really cool thing. And you could swipe up if you want to basically go back to your watch face. If you swipe up from the bottom portion, this will bring you into your quick widgets panel. It'll give you high level information on the widgets that you chose as well as some date and time information. So you can see your date and your time at the top right here. You also see a bunch of other widgets and stuff that you have throughout here as well. So what you can always do is you can go through and you can you know move around the widgets with your fingers just like this. Or if you're in here, you can also move around with this little digital crown option right here. So the digital crown, you can move it around just like so. And that's another really cool thing. Now, sometimes when you go too far into it, you will actually come into your actual applications. So this shows you all the applications that you have currently on your watch. Now, if you want to go through, you can also move your, you know, 
apps around like this by moving the digital crown up and down. So that's another really cool thing. You can either go all the way up or all the way down depending on what you wanna do. If you wanna go back to your main watch face, you can tap onto this particular button right here and bring you back into your watch face. You can also go through and tap back into this button if you want to, to go and jump back and forth from the watch face back to the main you know, watch face like this. So here's all the applications you have. And if you tap on this button again, it'll take you back home. So I'd recommend just kind of trying it out a couple of times and kind of getting used to it for the most part. Now, this bottom button right here allows you to go ahead and if you click it one time, it'll bring you into your quick toggles panel. So quick toggles are really cool because they allow you to go through and just again, get high level information and things that you can modify within your watch. So you can go through and you can basically turn on or off Wi-Fi, airplane mode, you can turn on or off, you know, low power mode, you can turn on a flashlight. There's a lot of stuff here and you can edit all these things by tapping on the edit button down here. You can edit up this watch face on your watch. So it's really cool because you can customize a lot of it. If you hold down on this button, it'll bring you into your power off panel. So if you want to access, you know, emergency SOS, you can slide this off or just say call. If you want to power off your watch, you can just tap onto that power button up there to power off your watch and you can slide a power off that way. But if you don't want to do that, you can click here to come back home. Now, if you want to customize this watch face, all you have to do here is hold down on this watch face like this, and you can either edit up your current watch face by clicking in the edit button, or you can slide to the side and you will basically find this new button. You can tap on that new button right there and you can find all sorts of new types of watch faces that you have inside of your particular watch. So there's a lot of different types of watch faces that you basically have, and there's a lot of different ones that you can basically choose from. Some of my favorite ones are like, you know, either health and fitness ones, or you can find like a modular one as well. And that is another really cool thing that you can kind of do here as well. So you can find the one that works the best for you. You can find the one that you like, and you can click on it and you can choose it and you can customize your watch that way as well. Or you can tap onto this edit button right here and edit up your current watch face if you want to. Like I said, there's a lot of things you can customize, the, the numericals, the style, the color, all sorts of things you can kind of choose from, which is actually really cool. Now, if you're ready, another really important thing you can do here too is use the watch face on your iPhone. So you know your iPhone has the watch application built right in. Well, this is a really important thing because on your iPhone, and I'm trying to find my iPhone, which is right here, you have a watch application built right in. So this is a really important thing too, because what you're going to want to do here is basically make your way over to your uh, watch application, which you'll have right here. You have the little watch app, and all you're going to want to do here is you want to basically just go through and you know get used to this type of application. There's a lot of cool little stuff here for the most part. You have like notifications, you have smart stack control center, you have a lot of different things here. So what I would recommend doing is to go through and just get used to this type of application. You have a lot of things you can edit here. You can go ahead and go into your passcode. You know, one thing I'd recommend every single person to do is once you buy your Apple Watch SE3, to hop inside of your general options right here. And what I'd recommend doing is to go through and click on software update right here and go ahead and basically software update your particular device. For a lot of people out there, sometimes just software updating your phone can be a really important thing. And that's exactly what I'd recommend doing here. So just go through, update your particular phone, or update your watch, and that would be another thing I'd recommend doing. This application is very similar to your settings application you have inside of your watch anyway. So the, these watches are kind of like, the more you use them, the more they're going to just make sense. So you have enough information now to kind of just go ahead and get started with your Apple Watch SE3. I'd probably recommend every single person to just jump right in and get used to your Apple Watch, get used to using it, putting it on your wrist, and just kind of going from there. I've seen some people mention to go through and like, you know, uh, check up, like put a case on their watch or a screen protector. You can do that if you want to. I don't really think everyone has to do that, but that's just kind of one of those things that you kind of have, you, know, you have an option if you really want to. So that is basically how it's done for the most part. That is how you use your Apple Watch SE 3. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.